Hi there. Now for this question then, we had to show that the cost of polishing this cylinder here of radius r was given by this expression here. Now I'll take you through this, okay, and uh, just in case there were any problems. So in order to work out that cost, we're told that it costs three pounds per square centimeter then to polish the ends here. So that's going to be three pounds times the surface area of both ends. And I've picked up on the fact that we've got the area of a circle for the end here, pi r squared, okay? And we've got two of them and at three pounds per square centimeter. So that's the cost of polishing the ends. Now when it comes to polishing the curved surface area here at two pounds per square centimeter, then it's obviously going to be the curved surface area times two. But the curved surface area for a cylinder should be familiar with the formula is the circumference times the length. Now, we weren't given the length, so I've decided to call it L. And we need to figure out what L is in terms of R. And we can do that just simply by knowing that the volume which we're given was 75 pi centimeter cubes. And the volume would be the area of the end, pi r squared, times that length L. So we got V equals pi r squared L. And if we rearrange this, making L the subject, divide both sides by pi r squared, you get L equals V over pi r squared. And so I can substitute the volume, V in, as 75 pi. The pi's cancel and just leaves you with the length L as being 75 over r squared. So when it comes to working out that curved surface area, which would normally be 2 pi r L, then I've just substituted the value of L in as 75 over r squared in here, okay? So the 2 times the 2 at the front here gives me the 4. The r's cancel, and that takes me in to the expression that we were asked to show. Okay?